Id Software's Doom has been ported to just about everything with a screen these days, but long before it was trendy to port this game to potato quality electronics, there was a company that took the shareware version of the game and ported it over more as a tech demo. And so I present to you Doom on the VM Labs Nuon. I'm specifically running this on a Samsung N501 DVD player, as it was known, but this was enhanced with a Nuon chip, making it more than just a DVD player. And the Nuon series of or new on enhanced DVD players were released back in 2001, but didn't last much longer beyond that. Uh, VM Labs went bankrupt, and very, very few games were ever released for the uh, platform. Uh, it's kind of like the 3DO in a way for DVDs, but it lasted uh, a much, much shorter time than 3DO did. 3DO at least got a bunch of games out of it. But with this that I'm going to show you here, it's important to give some context. So I'm playing this on a Nuon demo game disc, and this was ported by a VM Labs employee named Eric Smith over the course of just a single weekend. Now that was meant to show how versatile the Nuon uh, hardware was and how easy it was to port code over to it. The Nuon chip itself was unique in that it only ran at 54 megahertz, yet it was capable of processing 1500 MIPS or 1500 million instructions per second as it was a 128-bit processor and it was basically a quad-core processor and so released again in uh, 2000 or yeah, earlier I'd said 2001 it was actually summer 2000 is when the first new one enhanced DVD player came out and it was meant to enhance DVD movies, as well as play video games on it. Now, ported in just a weekend, the only thing that Eric did to this was allow it to work with the Nuon controller, but there was no other optimization done to the code. And so, as you probably noticed, it's quite choppy, the frame rate sucks. Uh, just to put it bluntly. And so I guess part of the purpose of showing this, other than just showing Doom running on a DVD player, is maybe to issue a challenge out there. I mean, since everybody's been porting Doom to all sorts of stuff, it would be nice to see somebody take this game on and actually port it with optimization and see uh, if it could run better. I pretty sure it can because, well, it, the new one has shown that it can do more than this, uh, than run a game from 1993 on it. Uh, granted, again, there's not a whole lot of games on it, and so we never got to see what the full potential of the hardware might be. Uh, but still, that could this run Doom better than what we're seeing here? I believe so. It's just we won't ever know until somebody with some coding skills takes it on and gives it a try. But particularly in this area, it became a little hard to control uh, where I mean, I'm using the, uh, the Logitech Nuon gamepad, which had an analog stick on it, but you just use the D-pad that it had. Uh, but still, just when the action would get a little intense, the frame rate dropped even harder. And so I just one I've wondered for a long time you know, what this demo might be like if uh, somebody had given it some proper coding. But that, of course, brings in the question the the other stuff. One of the thi one of the lines that VM Labs put out back in the day was that not only could they port PC games very quickly as they had done with Doom, now again this was not released officially, that's why it was a demo uh, and unoptimized, but uh, they also made the claim that they could port any PlayStation 1 game or Dreamcast games within six to eight weeks. Now nowadays that doesn't sound impressive at all just because you have engines like Unity or Unreal Engine and you can just pick your platforms and it'll spit out something that works on all these different platforms uh, but back in 2000, when you generally had to build every engine that you were working on from scratch, or you know, there was the an earlier version of Unreal Engine, and it had their tech engines as well, but it wasn't the same thing as like 
press a button and out comes a bunch of ports. Now I did come across a little bug in this one too where you could switch down a weapon but you couldn't switch up uh, a weapon so I, like, I couldn't get back to my shotgun for some reason. Um, among other things that it would need uh, to work properly. But, uh, again, I'll throw the challenge out there. Is any talented coder willing to take on porting Doom and optimizing it? And now, maybe it, we're, part of the reason we haven't seen a lot of new on developments is because I don't know if anybody out there actually has a new on dev kit. Um, perhaps that's what you need to actually do something like this. Like most of the stuff that we've seen from the homebrew scene has been, you know, frankly, not very impressive looking. Um, I mean, I'm still happy to see when somebody does something along those lines uh, of creating a new game for the new one. Uh, but again, if it was so easy to port stuff over, then... Do we just need to find a dev kit? Does somebody need to create a new dev kit for the new one to make that happen? I'd be interested to see that.